What's going on guys? My name is Ozzy Gomez and this is my 2013 Subaru WRX. So I got this build or I started this build back in 2016. I actually purchased the car in 2013 as a family car. Obviously things happen, a lot of stuff changed and I told my wife it's only gonna be for one year, but you know, seven, six years later, here I am. Everything started off nice and slow. It started with the wrap and the intake and all the, the usual stuff. But since then things changed. 2017 was my first year that I actually got into SEMA. Now I was lucky enough to get a feature spot, but it got me started with all the sponsorships. Started with the engine build, a lot of bolts on parts. It's actually still my stock block, but I have the upgraded turbo, 1000 cc injectors. I have the upgraded fuel pump. So I started this in 2017. I actually uh, had to do an intake manifold swap. This is a WRX, but it's actually an STI intake manifold. The Tomei 8265 turbo in here, it's pushing about 25 PSI. It's been tuned by Fat Body Tuning in Anaheim. The shop that did the majority of the work on this car was Prolific Auto there in Upland. Frank Tercios is actually the guy who did the majority of my work. That guy knows exactly what he's doing. Guy's awesome. Got a lot of carbon fiber trim in here. This company actually stopped making it. It's Password JDM, downpipe by Miltech Sport. They're in the UK. Guys are awesome out there. Got a cat back exhaust from Borla. I gotta have the air oil separator from IAG. Gotta have that on these. But to the wheels, after tuning with Ron, it makes 400 horsepower to the wheels, which is, yeah, that's, I, I love that number. I'm not going past that because I love driving this thing. Airlift all around, it's a 3P. Now, I was lucky enough to get sponsored by Koenig. They sent me these decagrams. They sent these out so fast, it made, my, it made my head spin. I was in Dallas when I was talking to these guys. I talked to them on a Thursday or Friday. I got home Friday evening. By Monday, these things were, they were at my doorstep. Freaking amazing. It was great customer service. I love them. So they're 18 by nine and a half. I'm running two, 245, 245, 40 R18s. They're the uh, Toyo R888s. I actually got the big brake kit from Willwood. Helped me out a lot back in 2017. I still have their big brake kit. Not drilled, but it is the slotted ones. Around the aero kit around, it's all carbon fiber around by a, co by a company called Carbon Trends. There are pieces that I got from Saibon. Saibon gave me the hood and the front grille, as well as the trunk. Now, the one company that I will obviously mention is Spec D, who brought me here again for the second SEMA in a row. Last year didn't count because they didn't attend, but I got their headlights. Once we swing around to the back, you'll see the taillights as well. The taillights are actually brand new. They just came out. So that's what they're highlighting right now. This is actually my OEM paint. This is Subaru OEM paint. All I did was add graphics by uh, the Race Studio. They're in Corona, California. The interior, if you want to check out the interior. All right, so on the inside, this is the interior. My steering wheel is made by DAMD, obviously from Japan, carbon fiber top square bottom. The interior pieces, the trim, these are actually Kevlar pieces that were made by the same company that did my outer uh, arrow by CT Trends. Gentleman is actually based near San Diego. Uh, seats, uh, these are Sparkle r Triple Threes, Sparkle USA in Irvine. Guys take care of me really well. Kevin out there, guys freaking awesome. Got my floating head unit from Pioneer. This thing, I love it. It actually reads my my OBD2, so if for some reason I do get a check engine light, I could actually check it through the, the head unit. And that is it. Thank you, thank you. All right, so these are the taillights I'm talking about that we're highlighting here for SEMA 2022. Suspect detail lights, brand new. So carbon fiber diffuser made by VIS. They're in the, I believe they're in the city of industry, California. You can see the quad tip exhaust from uh, Borla, has a great sound, no drone, freaking amazing. APR actually gave me these, these the exhaust trim here, the, the cover up here, I'm sorry. 
Yeah, those are made by APR. Guys are, they're great there as well. Trunk by Saibon. It's a little duckbill. I love the duckbill. I, I can't do, I can't do wings. But the duckbill, I, I love the duckbill. Always gets me. My backup camera, these guys, these guys are so great, man. These guys, anything ever goes wrong with my backup cameras, it's Ventra. They're in the city of industry as well. A lot of stuff in Southern California. All right, last but not least, guys, little modest trunk setup. I got three 12 inch subwoofers from Sirwin Vega. Got their amplifiers as well. I'm not great with the, with the model numbers, but let me tell you, when this thing hits, it hits and there's no rattle. Super clean, super clear, love the product. All right, guys, well, that's it. That's my 2013 Super WRX. I want to send a huge, huge shout out and thank you to Koenig for allowing me to do this with them. Thank you so much for the decagrams. Freaking love them. Frank from Prolific Autosport, Spec D for having me in their booth for the second time in a row. Can't thank them enough. Mod Junkies, The Race Shop, um, Our Virgin Auto Works. Thank you for the help. You guys would like to follow the build. My Instagram is uh, AussieG underscore WRX. This, I'm not gonna say it's finished because you know when you're modifying a Subaru, you're, you're never ever really done. It's just on to the next thing. Again, want to say thanks to Koenig for doing this. And Spec D, again, thank you so much for having me out here.